There's literally a dog hair in my coffee right now. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my um, blush, bronzer, face, uh, contour stuff. I, I, that category. That category right there. Um, I couldn't limit it to just like blush because I don't have a lot of blushes. So that would make this video like three minutes long. Um, which I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed of having a small amount of makeup. Um, what I have laid out in front of me though right now looks like a crap ton of makeup and it's gonna take me probably 10 years to finish all of this. But um, that's why I am doing a project pan right now and I'm working my little butt off to finish certain makeup products so if you see a few that I've already mentioned on my channel in my project pan video if you haven't seen that I'll link it down below in the description that is um that is you know I don't know where I was going with that um sorry if you see repeat repeat products in this video but I do have some that I have not even like opened because one, they look pretty, and two, I'm not ready to open them yet. Anyways, um, if you haven't already, hit that little thumb icon down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing collection videos because there's going to be more coming your way because um, this is part of a series that I have right now. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell beside. Um, also, follow me on my social media. We can be friends there and you'll know when I upload. And you can shout me your um, um, video ideas. And also, let's get into this video. I have talked way too much so far. Probably bored you to death. You're probably not even still watching this and if you are props to you props to you okay anyways um so I'm gonna start I'm gonna actually like hold the product up and go th through it like that because it's really not a lot like I'll speed through this probably but I'm gonna go ahead and start with the ones that I'm working on so we can just get those out of the way um the current two blushes that, oh my god, about dropped it. I about dropped it. The current, oh, and ignore my bed. Like, I never make up my bed, let's be real. Like, and I'm just not a, me a bed maker person at all. And ignore the hamper in the background. I mean, we all got to keep our dirty clothes and something, right? Okay, anyways. All right, so Wet and Wild color icon um, in the shade Rose Champagne I'm trying to finish this it's taken me 10 years to um, even hit pan on it but it has a dent it'll stay up it has a dent so yeah I'm working on that I've had that for a while and I really like the color of it the formula is really nice and it is a new formula um, it's just, it's a nice blush, and apparently I'm getting my money's worth. It was really cheap. It was less than $5, so. The next one that I've been trying to work on is the Princess Daiquiri's. The color, the new Wet n Wild color icon blush. And um, if you can see, it kind of has a dent in it. I have a, so I, I think it's going to hit pan like right there. Um, but this is a pretty, pretty blush. I really like the ombre blush. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a uplifting effect to your face. Alright, so, um, here is another Wet n Wild product. We'll just, we'll just go, you know, with Wet n Wild for a while. Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder in the shade Fair Light. I have definitely hit pan on this, but this thing has been like this for freaking ever, and I can't seem to finish it. 
and I'm not sure how to like how you depot stuff and like repress it but I'm gonna figure it out and that's probably what I'm gonna have to do with this because it's gonna take either me dropping it or me repressing it and sh crap to finish it so that's what I'm gonna do with that and next thing is the wet n wild illuminating palette uh, mega glow in the shade catwalk pink 320 and I've made a dent on one side um, I like to use these these three right here as a highlighter um, and then the pink as a blush topper because come on that's a pretty bright pink for a highlighter so I can't do that with my pale skin the next thing I have which I haven't even opened but I've used this product before and that's why I re it's a repurchase it's the color icon bronzer SPF 15 and the shade um, I guess reserve your cabana I don't know it's like the lightest shade they have and it looks exactly like that and I I love this bronzer it smells good the only bad thing is if you drop it it's the end of the world for this thing like it is on death row RIP freaking wet wild bronzer if you drop this thing that's all I'm saying so that's only the onside of it which you gotta hold it like a little baby I should know I mean I dropped one in the store you didn't hear that okay anyways next the stay matte long lasting pressed powder um, in the shade transparent I have actually because I've started working on this one too as well um, I've kind of started to take away the cute little design I don't like the way this packaging is because it's not very secure not secure at all like I'm so used to the flippy uppy ones that that's just I don't know I don't like it but I like the color I like the formula I like it and Rumble London is one of my favorites because this was only like four dollars and if your makeup brand is cheap and it works I'm gonna fall in love the next thing is the natural bronzer waterproof bronzing powder this is one that I have and it has like a perfumey scent so if you don't like perfumey scents you won't like this but it's pretty um, I think this is the lightest shade they have but um, and it's in the shade Sundance but I thought I could use this for whenever I get darker which kind of really didn't happen this summer I got a little bit darker but not like extremely dark um, but that's okay I can still use this for like eyeshadow and stuff like that like I find a purpose for things believe me everything has a purpose in life everything um, so let's go into um, elf real fast I have this which is something that I mentioned in my project pan I've already hit pan on the highlighter um, I switched out the dark contour for the blush because I mean it was way too dark for my skin tone um, sometimes I use this to um, set my concealer or I just use it as a powder like this is a very universal thing right here and I really like elf and this mirror is freaking bomb like this bomb because it's like huge the next thing that I got is from elf and it's in their new packaging it's the total face palette and I haven't really used this a whole lot just because it's brand new and I'm trying to use up my other stuff but oh my god it is so pretty there's two blushes um, I think this is like a highlighter I'm not sure and this is a contour shade um, and it looks like it's gonna be a good match for my skin tone but we shall see and of course it has a really nice mirror hey guys um, but yeah I really 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 like that one really like that one can we say really like one more time Hold on. I got the text message okay all right um 
Next is something from Unique. If anybody has heard of that brand, uh, comment down below. Um, it's not very known. It's more of a direct sales brand. Um, but this is a really freaking good highlighter. Like, it is so good. It's in the shade Iridescent. And let me swatch this for you guys. Like, and it might not even show up really well on my finger. I mean, there you go. Like, how... This is a really good highlighter, and I've used the heck out of it. The only thing is it's starting to get a little chalky. Um, but this brand is cruelty-free, so if you guys like cruelty-free makeup or vegan-free makeup, this shit is for you. Um, but yeah, I've kind of made a dent in it. So, yeah. Next is this Tarte. Um, oh, crap. I forgot one thing. I just realized I'll, I'll get that out in a second. Um, this Tarte sample bronzer, pretty sure this is a sample bronzer, um, in the shade Park Avenue Princess. It's an Amazon clay, Amazonian clay waterproof bronzer. And that's what it looks like. Um, haven't used it yet. The packaging is really cute. Um, it's a sample size, so I'm not really sure, like, I don't know, I just haven't used it yet. So, I'll play around with that eventually. This one is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure this is a sample size. It's Mineral Blush and Autumn Glow. I got this in an Ipsy bag a while back. Um, and it is really pretty, but I'm not sure if this broke me out or not. Like, really not sure. Um, it's cruelty free which is awesome and I just I don't know how I feel about it I stopped using it because I'm trying to hit pan on some other ones but um, I use this quite a bit but it still has a lot in here so I don't know if that was a sample size or what the next one is a Milani powder brush and oh my gosh the shade T Rose this is so beautiful um, it smells, it doesn't have much of a smell, so that's awesome, but it's just really, really pretty. I haven't touched it because it's just so pretty, um, but I think this is going to be the next one that I start to work on, uh, because, yeah, hopefully I hit pan on these blushes soon that I've been trying to work on, and I'll hit pan on this. Um, next is a Trifle Cosmetics Raspberry Ripple. Um, it's like, it was a sample in an Ipsy bag. And it has three different mini blushes in it. Um, I guess this is good for traveling. It's cruelty free, which is cool. Um, but I'm just, I'm kind of moving away from the Ipsy bags because I started getting boxy charm, and I'll explain why in a second. The next blush that I have, which is the last blush that I have, is from BH Cosmetics, and I'm keeping it in the packaging <laughs> just to take care of it, and it's this blush right here in the shade Fiji Fun. It's a duo cheek color, and it is so pretty, so pretty. Let me see if it has a smell for those of you who can't do smells. Mm, not really. I mean, all I can smell is the packaging, I think. I think that's what it is. But it's a really pretty blush. Really pretty. Kind of shimmery, glittery, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of shimmery. So if you are not a fan of that, you probably wouldn't like this. So give me one second because... I have one more thing to show you all. Um, I gotta open this up. I gotta find it though. Oh, there it is. It's under these. And I'll eventually do like a full, like I'll show you guys what my, how I have all my makeup stored and everything. I just wanted to go ahead and 
do series really fast. So yeah. This is the Bare Minerals um, Translucent Powder Duo palette. It has matte and it has a glow brilliant. And this is what it looks like. It is so freaking pretty. Um, it has a matte and then it has like a, I guess like a highlighter matte. It's that second one. You can't really see it though. But I got this in an Ipsy bag. I mean in a Boxy Charm. And the reason I'm just switching to Boxy Charm is because I get full size products. And Bare Minerals. I don't have anything Bare Minerals. So that was cool. And I'll definitely use that. Um, I'll definitely use that set stuff and just I'll figure out how to use it but the mirror is really cool the mirror is really awesome so all right that is it for this video if you made if you liked it be sure you, to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel I'll greatly appreciate that and I hope you all have a great day thanks for watching again and um, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite blush is and what blush I should invest in. And, um, yeah, do that right now. All right, uh, have a great day. Bye.